camera's falling. <laughs> I have my tea. I swear this camera's not gonna stay. There we go. Okay. Um, so I'm sick today. A little bit sick. I don't know what's going on. I woke up this morning and I had my physics midterm and I was like sneezing and my eyes felt weird and I don't know, but I'm drinking this tea. Do you want me to show you? I don't know. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And um, I got this guy over here. You've probably seen the little cartoon version of him in some of my videos because I put little clippings here and there to make the video look cute. But <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a mess today. I took my physics midterm, and by the way, these are the last midterms I'm ever going to take in high school, so you gotta savor it, because I'm going to college as well, which is nice. High school's getting old. Please don't make fun of me if I sound kind of weird. It's just that I'm sick, so like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. But today's video is going to be about... It's a pop-up on my phone. Today's video is going to be about cosplaying and how to plan out a cosplay because that can be kind of difficult to plan out how you're going to cosplay somebody. And I know that a lot of people have been cosplaying lately because conventions are coming up in the spring and the summer. So I thought I would give my advice. And I've cosplayed in the past. Have you seen my... Wonder Woman cosplay, that was the first cosplay I've ever done, and I'm planning one out right now for an anime convention that I'm planning on going to. I haven't bought all the stuff yet, but I've planned it out. So that's where I am so far. Okay. So the first step to cosplaying is obviously to find a character that you're gonna cosplay. So. The way I like to start out is by first narrowing down to uh, what, I don't want to say genre, but you know, are you cosplaying someone from Marvel, DC, anime? Think about the convention you're going to, if you're going to a convention. For example, if you're going to um, Comic-Con Boston, uh, they accept pretty much everyone, any cosplay I think, but Primarily, most people go as somebody from Marvel or DC, so that's why I ended up picking Wonder Woman. If it's an anime cosplay, obviously only anime cosplays are acceptable there, so you gotta think then, narrow it down further, what anime characters do I like? And then think of all the anime characters that you like, and then think which ones can I cosplay? Um. Like, which ones would I like to dress up as? And which one of, one of these do I think that I could pull off cosplaying? For example, you do, if you're starting out as a cosplayer, you don't want to pick a character whose outfit is very complicated. And if you do want to pick an, a, co a character with a complicated outfit, you need to think about how you're going to simplify that outfit so that you can cosplay it. Or think about how you can get some help, maybe ask someone to help you out on that. You have to think about all those factors when finding someone to cosplay. And trust me, please don't overestimate yourself. Because trust me, if you pick somebody super complicated and then you buy the materials and you think, oh, I'm gonna do this, and then you realize that you can't finish it or you really don't have that skill level yet, it's gonna stink because you spent all that money on all the materials and cosplaying, a lot of times it's not exactly cheap. You have to buy a lot of materials. It is an investment depending on who you're cosplaying. So please don't overestimate like how much skill you have or how much you can get done in a certain amount of time. And like even the Wonder Woman cosplay that I did, which was, what? I guess a year or two ago, between one and two years. The only reason I was able to pull that off, and I'm not saying it was the best cosplay ever, it's, it wasn't, it was 
pretty average, but the only reason I was able to pull that off with the little to no skill level that I had was because I was doing it over the summer. So you need to think, how much time am I going to have all of that when you're picking out a character? You need to kind of scan through your brain and think, you know, how much time am I going to have? When do I need this done? Do I like this character? <laughs> so on. So yeah, pick a character that you like. Pick a character that you think will be easy enough to cosplay for you. Pick a character that... Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't know what else I was gonna say. But yeah, there are more steps, so... Yeah, I think I was about to jump ahead of myself, but whatever. <laughs> Step two is to find everything that you will need and create a budget. So the way I like to kind of familiarize myself with my character personally is I like to draw my character. Although, I understand that not everybody here likes drawing, but it does help. You don't have to do this step, but for me it was very helpful. If you don't want to draw your character out, at least study some pictures, look at different variations of your character's outfits, think which one you'd want to cosplay, and then start looking on... Well, before looking on sites, create a list of everything that you'll need. For example, for Wonder Woman, I knew I was going to need craft foam for um, objects like the tiara and this and that, that I would need craft foam. So that also leads to needing to research on how you're going to create certain items. And that way, you can create a list of everything you need. That's why you need to study your character. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you spend a whole lot of time. Just spend like maybe two, three days, spend a bit of time just looking at it and thinking, huh, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do the tiara? How am I gonna do the breastplate? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do that? What will I need? And then create a list of everything that you'll need to create the cosplay. And after that, start looking up how much these things will cost in stores, online, Go to craft stores, go to thrift stores like Savers if you need any clothing items, and add up all of the costs and create um, basically like a cost for the whole cosplay, everything you'll need. And if that exceeds your budget, then either take some items out, try and simplify some things, try to find a cheaper alternative to an item in your list or you may even have to start from scratch and go back to step one and find a new character. It's one of those two things. I know I did that a couple of times while I was planning out cosplays because Wonder Woman wasn't my first choice. I didn't just think, oh, Wonder Woman. I went through some different characters and then I realized when I was creating the list and I came up with a cost, oh, this is going to be too expensive. This is going to be a little bit too difficult for me, this and that. So definitely make sure that you can afford the items first, of course. It is absolutely crucial to create a list before you even start buying stuff. Because if you buy parts of the things that you will need and then you realize later, oh, that is going to be too expensive, then you've already bought part of the things that you'll need and you've wasted money. So make sure you make the list first and then decide, can I afford this cosplay in the first place? Now before you even buy the items, there's another step and it's to schedule what tasks are gonna be done on what days before you need to have the cosplay done. So start out by creating a list of the things that you're gonna need to have done, just like you created a list of the things that you'll need for the cosplay. Create a list of tasks you got to plan out. For example, for me, when I was doing Wonder Woman, I created a list. I said, okay, I'm going to have to create a tiara. I'm going to have to cut stuff out. I'm going to have to spray paint stuff. I'm going to have to mold the breastplate with heat somehow, some way. I ended up figuring that, later, that out later. You can see the video if you want to find out how I did that. I'm not going to explain that on here because then the video is going to be too long. But... Yeah, basically you need to create a list and then think about how much time you have in your life, I guess, until the date that you need the cosplay done 
and think, what can I write in as tasks? What tasks can I write in each day, each week, so that I can get the cosplay done on time? And if you realize that you have too little time to get it done, either simplify your steps, maybe take out some parts of uh, the cosplay that you think are too complicated and are going to take up too much of your time, or get some help, maybe as I said before, maybe get one of your friends in on helping you out if you can, or you might have to start all over again back to step one and find a new character, as I said before, if you find a kind of blunder on your way of planning, of course you have to go back a few steps. I know I've run into this problem too. I remember with the Wonder Woman cosplay, the picture that I used um, as a reference for what my cosplay was gonna look like, you'll notice that the skirts were different. I used a more simple skirt compared to the skirt in the picture that I used as an overall model. And I did that because I knew I wasn't going to be able to pull off Wonder Woman's skirt in that particular look. So I decided I was just going to kind of switch the skirt with a skirt from a more simple Wonder Woman look that I've seen before. And that way I was able to pull it off. Nobody noticed and was like, oh, you're using the wrong skirt. Like, no one does that. No one's going to care as long as it looks good it will be fine and especially if you're starting out don't feel ashamed to make those little steps to simplify your cosplay because you are just starting out and you need to take baby steps also a little re little reminder um if you're uncomfortable with some parts of your character's outfit as in you're not comfortable wearing them instead of either going ahead and wearing it and feeling uncomfortable, which I don't recommend you should do if you don't feel uncomfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, don't wear a certain look. Or switching to another character. You don't have to do either of those things. Just alter the cosplay so that you're comfortable wearing it. For example, I came into this problem with planning my Tornado cosplay. And in case you, don't, you guys don't know who Tornado is, she is a character from One Punch Man, which is an anime that I really like, and I decided I was gonna cosplay Tornado. Um, and you'll notice the slits on her dress, those go a bit too high for what I'm comfortable with. I looked at it and I was like, I'm not gonna wear that. And no judgment to anyone who would wear that or has worn something of that sort, it's just that that's not something I'm comfortable with. So then I ended up just designing the cosplay so that the slit starts a bit lower down so that I'm a bit more covered. You can do that kind of stuff all the time. You don't have to make it look exactly like the picture or you don't have to follow the exact look if a certain part of the outfit makes you uncomfortable. So if the character is a character that you like and the costs are within your budget and the schedule seems to flow well, then you can go ahead and start buying the items. What I like to do is order off of Amazon, although I also recommend savers. It's a great place to like find any clothing pieces that you might need or any shoes for a cheap price. Something like wigs or contact lenses, I recommend you buy online because those are it's hard to find a specific type of wig or contact lens out in a store. I know where I live, it's impossible to find a good wig or contact lens that you would need. Although clothing is easy to find at a thrift store. If you can't find a specific clothing item, you can also order that online. And then of course, once you've bought all of the items, you can get right to work and start working on your cosplay. Of course, just remember to go by your schedule. And if you a blunder comes in, like, I don't know, you get sick and you can't work more on your cosplay, of course, make, make sure to alter your schedule. It just means, of course, you would have to work a bit harder for the following days. But make sure you're staying by your schedule and if you have to alter it, alter it. 
so that you can get it done in time. Otherwise you've wasted all the money if you don't complete the cosplay on time for a convention, which is usually why people cosplay in the first place to go to conventions. But yeah, that's all my tips on cosplaying. So if you guys have any tips of your own, and you guys have cosplayed before and you have something to add in, obviously definitely add it in. Even I'm not like the most experienced cosplayer ever, I've only done like two cosplays and one was so simple that I didn't even make a video about it. So make sure to add in your own tips if you have any. I would benefit from them. But viewers would benefit from them as well. But yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later. I'm gonna finish my tea and I'm gonna edit this and I'm <coughs> gonna go to work and all of that. So I'll see you guys later.